Johnson and I am a gourmet raw food chef instructor over at the Living Academy, um, which is right there in Plantation. It's right near the raw food restaurant Green Wave Cafe. Um, so I brought basically gourmet food today. These are not things that you would necessarily eat on a daily basis. These are things that you have on special occasions. So just so you know, I don't eat this every day. I'd like to, but I don't. So we'll start with dessert first, because that's where I like to always start. Oh, yeah. And my dessert today is a cashew banana and chocolate wow. pie with a walnut, coconut, and um, what is it? Wow. Uh, dates for the crust. Yeah. Um, there is coconut oil in here as well. And um, so that's basically what's inside of this pie. Nothing at all hard. It's the most simplest thing you could ever do, except for you do need to dehydrate the walnuts so that they um, come out in a really nice texture for the pie crust. And of course, soak your cashews and things of that nature. It's delicious. It's really oh, I wonderful. Bet it is. Um, this here is like a, a taco, kind of a Mexican rendition. I usually do lots of guacamole with it. However, I apologize, those little avocados were not ready. And so I'll have to eat them all later by myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to take a lettuce leaf and um, just put a little taco meat. This is walnuts. Mm -hmm. It is also um, sun-dried tomatoes that have been soaked. And then I use that soaked water as well inside of it with uh, about a tablespoon and a half of cumin, a tablespoon of chili powder, a uh, couple dashes of cayenne, chipotle, and um, some paprika, and of course the sea salt to taste. And then I like to put, um, and now this one, this salsa here has onion in it. Um, the other one doesn't. I re remember somebody had an onion allergy. She may yeah, not be here, here today, today, but that's okay. Thank you. Sure. So we do have a little bit of um, jalapeno, cilantro, um, a little lime juice, um, onions in one, not onions in other. This is my not cho cheese sauce. <laughs> okay. It wow. is um, very delicious. Um, it tastes just like nacho cheese, really. It's made out of cashews, there's jalapeno, red pepper, wow. and um, and of course a little bit of water, and sea salt, and a little lemon juice, and that is all it is, and when you taste it, you are gonna be Flip. There's, there's fully amazed. There's, 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 there's cashews, cashews. that's okay. the cheesy, gotcha. that's what makes it give it that really, and it's all soaked, so it's, you know, it's, it's really delicious, all those uh, little, anti-enzymes are gone, so you'll be happy to know that that's what you're eating. And so that's a little taco, and I hope Wonderful. you enjoy it. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Bethany. Thank you, Bethany. Thank you. Okay, so the next things we have over here are, I think, Sister Goddess Marsha and WSF Jerome. Come on over. Come explain. Okay, this is sweet potatoes. I know it looks like carrots, but it's shredded sweet potato. Um, so lime is squeezed on top of it to keep it from oxy I don't know, oxidizing or makes it out, whatever. Right. Anyway, squeeze lime on it. Put a handful of raisins, a handful of walnuts. I usually use pecans. I was out of pecans. And some pineapple and That's it. Oh, delicious. It's beautiful. Do you want to talk about the apple salad? Yes. Later. The apple salad is the same recipe except without pineapple. So it has apples, these are organic Fuji apples. Apples, lime juice squeezed on the apples with walnuts and raisins and agave and that's it. You peel you peel the apple? I did or? not peel, I did yeah. not peel Okay, not bad, bad. Okay. Thank you, Marsha, yes. thank you, Joan. Thank, thank you. Okay, thank you. what okay. do we have, Beth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going.